you ever wonder why you shouldn't point your camera lens at the sun? This is why. This is what would happen to your camera sensor if you pointed it directly at the sun. So it's like burning ants with a magnifying glass, except your camera is the ant. So let's say you're trying to photograph or film something like a solar eclipse. How would you go about doing that without breaking your camera? Oh, oh, the camera is smoking. Oh, sh So in today's video, we're gonna do some tests to show how you can safely shoot the sun without breaking your camera. So here we have our Nikon D3200 with our telephoto lens. Our mirror is taped up so we can point our camera at the sun. I'll set it down, set focus to infinity. Lock it in. And now we wait. Give me a dab. I'm not gonna dab. Not on camera. All right, 30 seconds is up. Let's see. Oh, there we go. Oh, there's a mark. There's yeah. a mark on the shutter. We can look at that real quick. You see that? All right, so this is the camera that we just pointed at the sun, and if you can look inside here, you'll see that the shutter blades are actually burned. Now keep in mind that this was just for a 30 second exposure and it was just on our shutter blades. Now imagine if you were trying to photograph or film something like a solar eclipse. Your camera center is going to be exposed, it's going to be pointed directly at the sun, and it's going to do a lot of damage. All right, so what's the solution? Well, you can use an ND filter, but not just any ND filter. This is the Kalari Pro 15 stop ND filter, which is perfect for solar photography. Now the sun is about 15 stops brighter than anything else, so you're gonna need at least a 15 stop ND. Our Kalari Pro ND filters do protect against the infrared light spectrum, so your camera is protected against infrared damage. Now to show how you can use our 15 stop ND filter to prevent light damage to your camera, we're gonna be taking a photo of the sun using this filter and our brand new Canon R5. So we're really confident that our 15 stop ND is gonna help us get this photo of the sun with our Canon R5, so now we're gonna demonstrate it. set, take a photo, this is magnificent, it's working perfectly fine. Let's take a look at the camera sensor, all right, it's perfectly fine, it's looking good. And look at that. A couple of disclaimers before using our ND filters for solar photography. Don't look through the optical viewfinder even when using the ND filter because it's still gonna burn your eyes, but live view is still okay. And secondly, don't look directly at the sun with just an ND filter because it's not rated for your eyes. Okay, so there you have it. This is how you can safely shoot the sun without breaking your camera. So if you're planning to shoot the solar eclipse that's happening this October, don't forget to grab a Kalari Pro 15 stop or 20 stop ND filter. We'll leave a link in the description below. And don't forget to share this video with other fellow solar photographers.